Hello guys, I hope everybody's doing okay tonight. Here, I'm going to show you a quick walk around of my new 3D printer that I just finished build. And sorry about my surroundings. This is a house kitchen. I cannot work in the garage because it's too hot in there and very uncomfortable right now. Yesterday was the heat index was around 98 degrees or something like that so I just bring this thing inside the house. The wife is not that happy at all but I just told her that it's something you know temporary so I need to get someplace else to get this thing out. So here is a quick overview what's going on and how I just designed this using my previous knowledge from my laser cutters and I just apply that and also applying the technology that MakerBot the Replicator 2 have on it because that was my first 3D print, my first and the only 3D printer that I have owned for almost seven years, but believe me, I don't know nothing about this thing because the only thing, I was just an operator of the factory default things, you know, doing parts and stuff, but now it's the real thing. So I just decided to get involved in this just because the other one, you know, the, the MakerBot is just, it's not died at all, but it's, it's worthless. And right now, it doesn't work at all. So I just decided to build my own using a lot of uh, spare aluminum parts that I have around from my previous um, projects that most of you guys know already that I was working on because I took apart the big Franken 40 because I don't need it anymore and there's a lot of extrusions from that build in this 3D printer. So going into the basics of this thing, what I decided to do with the Y axis You will notice that I'm using linear rails and you will see this one very rusted because this linear rail, I just bought it to learn how to use these things and the length, I just bought a 450 just to have it around and work with it and be able to design some stuff to fit extrusions and stuff like that. So I live like three quarters of a mile from the ocean. And this thing was sitting around in my garage. So you can see the rust right there, but you have some grease on it. It's not squeaking at all, so it's working. Anyhow. So we have linear rails on the X, we have a linear rails on the X axis, and we have a wheel system on the C axis of this uh, design. And uh, you can notice the frame of the, of the machine is pretty, pretty sturdy and very hard using uh, the spares 20 by 80s that I have and obviously came perfect because when you apply all this mechanism to each side of the X, everything goes beyond the Y axis uh, extrusion. So they came perfect. So I evenly can put some kind of a wall here if I want, but for PLA printing, I don't think will be necessary. But basically, this is it. And let me start with the C axis, how I built the C axis. You can notice here there's a 
mini V gantry kits. There's four of them total. And a 290 millimeter lead screw with a antique backslash nut there. And there's a tricky move here about how to make this C table to be mostly very precise on it because the way you have to tight the wheels, you have to be very, very careful in order to make those gantries to move, to move freely, but not that tight because when you connect that 500 millimeter 20 by 40 linear rail using those angle connectors you need a very free movement to achieve a very you know smooth uh, c-axis um, actuation and believe me guys it works perfectly super cool super smooth and I'm gonna give you an idea how the x-axis is working we have a Nema 17 those are pretty big motors right here does this is already 1.7 uh, amps motors I have this is a 10 millimeter GT2 um, belt and you can notice the bells run inside the extrusion there and mostly all the gantry parts are laser cut it in acrylic a quarter inch acrylic and you can see there the linear rail in motion how the y-axis is powered it's a very simple setup we have a linear rod 500 millimeter long all the way around and I just make here a, a acrylic plate with two covers on it inside there is a bearing on each one there's a 20 teeth GT2 8 millimeter bore pulley and another NEMA 17 down there with the same belt configuration and that's how the Y axis is actuated on the back here we can show you the controller board it's a Duet 2 Wi-Fi controller a friend of mine recommended me go this way. It is a very, very super nice controller, super quiet, nice drivers, Wi-Fi. So when I in my computer, I don't have to come all the way down here to plug a SD card or something. I just do it by the network. It's very simple. On the side here of the car, you can see this AC um, connector with a switch connected to a meanwhile 24 volt I think it's 14.6 amps uh, power supply and we're supplying power to the machine the whole thing uh, with this power supply the uh, C table um, actually the heat table is a 310 by 310 millimeter uh, heat table is a 3 millimeter thick aluminum PCB it's very hot right now and actually show you here we are printing a base no infills at all spiral mode in Cura about here is we have another acrylic mount for the extruder, I decided to go with the Bontech BMG. 
We have this pancake seven uh, number seventeen motor here, and behind all that mess, there is a E three D V six hot end. Let me see if you can see it from here. Well, it's right there. So, guys, I'm gonna be posting. You know the part list the, the whole build i don't have too many pictures of the build you know a very detailed thing because i just decided to do this thing to have another 3d printer and then during the build i just was doing so much research about it and i decided to buy this buck right there that i say fl sound delta because i was so intrigued how this delta printers work and I found this thing for 280 bucks in Amazon, something like that. So I say, what the hell, I gonna buy one of this? I just wanna have it to see how Delta printers work because I don't have any idea how that shit works, but I have it right there. And another thing, let me see, okay, it's a direct drive system. You can notice that already, you know, I don't know if that, I have to mention that. The spool, I have a mini spool right there that came with the printer that I just showed you guys. Spinning fine. And this is it. I'm gonna post some details on open builds. This is very simple build, guys. Very, very simple. And it works fine. Take a look. That's a flower base, no wing feel at all. And one of the things that I love about this thing is is that I can manage the 3D printer with the iPad. It's pretty cool. Very clean setup. It's kind of big, but it worked it and uh, maximum area is 12 by 12 any questions let me know guys and I keep you posted with any of uh, some details and I think maybe on the weekend I'll be posting the most details I can have about this build and sorry about the darkness because I'm in the kitchen see you around guys